Hi Sagittarius, this is your bonus tarot reading for this month. Uh, we'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll look at what you urgently need to know right now and uh, it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then the second, the advice spread will be well, about what's recommended for you in that situation and spread number three is the next good thing that'll happen to you in the near future. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. So here's what you urgently need to know right now, Sagittarius. Uh, we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Ten of Wands, then we have the Six of Wands, we also have the Emperor, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or pretty much any zodiac sign. You know, um, this is most likely work, business and finances related, Sagittarius. But we still have a third spread, the next good uh, thing that will happen to you, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, this spread could be interpreted as a card of uh, love, okay? but for most of you it's work related, business related. If it is about love and if uh, you are already in a relationship with somebody, but uh, if you are wondering if they will ever propose to you, yes, they're going to propose to you. Okay, <laughs> any second now, like literally any second now. But now focus on work, right? Um, this is a victory spread. If this is work, business, and finances related, and if you are really worried about something as of right now, or will be worried in the very near future, you will win. You will definitely have a, a victory, right? Because the 601s kind of in the middle right there is a card of victory, success, recognition. Uh, it's a card of being awarded, rewarded, promoted, being given a job, you know, uh, closing a deal very successfully. And it's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. To the left from it, we have the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Ten of uh, Wands, right? The Nine of Swords is a card of somebody who is very, very worried or even stressed out, even depressed. Somebody who is losing sleep over something, somebody who is crying themselves to sleep or something like that, somebody who is very very worried, right? The Ten of Wands clarifying that is a card of a burden, okay? So whatever, you, the whole burden could be just the situation you're in right now. For some of you, um, perhaps you've been working really really hard and you're hoping for that promotion, you're hoping for that job, all right, you're hoping for that victory to close that deal, to get that contract or what have you, okay? And uh, it's coming your way, right? The Emperor, right next to the deck clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, it could be you becoming the Emperor, right? And the Emperor is a boss figure. You could be becoming your own boss for some of you, perhaps you're stressed out if, uh, and you're wondering if your business is going to do better, yes. If that's the case, then the answer is yes. For, for others of you, uh, you're worried, am I going to get promoted, am I going to get that job? Okay, and the answer is still yes. For others of you, the emperor could be uh, somebody else, right? It could be your boss or your future boss, and this person is going to give you the job. This person is going to promote you. Or if this person runs their owns their own business and you want to do business with them, I think they're going to start doing business with you, right? Um, we got a couple of aces on the table. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Yes. These are all yeses, right? The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. The Ace of Pentacles is money coming your way, a job offer, a contract, what have you. And the Ace of Wands, uh, it's just another Ace, I guess. <laughs> it's a very passionate new beginning. When it comes to work, business, and finances, the Ace of Wands could be like a new beginning when it comes to work, business, and finances. Some of you, if you have like a bright idea right now and you're getting ready to pitch this bright idea to an investor or to another person or to uh, some company and perhaps that's what you're stressed out about, uh, I think you'll do good. You'll do good. <laughs> so that's what I see so far, but uh, let's take a look at the um, advice spread real quick. Here's the advice for you, um, uh, Sagittarius, for the situation we saw in the previous spread. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, we have the Five of Wands clarified by the Three of Pentacles, and we also have the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I think the Five of Wands uh, clarified by the Three of Pentacles are most important cards. And I'm kind of sort of doing this in intuitively. I'm going to interpret this kind of sort of intuitively. I believe the advice for you is to don't, don't give up. Fight for it. Alright, fight for it. Compete for it. 
if you're competing against other company or another pe or other people, keep keep competing. Don't give up. All right. The, by the way, the nine of swords in the first spread could be a card of somebody who gave up. All right. But this spread right here is uh, encouraging you to not give up. Okay. The three of pentacles is a card of collaboration. Right. It's a card of uh, workplace environment, business place environment, and the five of ones is a card of a fight. It's a card of a competition. Right. Healthy competition. And uh, the Four of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, um, you know, when it comes to work, business, and finances, I often interpret this card as a savings account card. This means something is coming your way, you got to be holding on to it, <laughs> right? It could be that promotion, money, contracts, whatever you are fighting for, whatever you're competing for. So the advice for you is don't give up. Try, try again. Try, keep trying. Keep working towards it. All right, um, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius, so far. Let's take a look at spread number three real quick. So here's the next good thing that will happen to you, um, Sagittarius, that will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, uh, clarified by Temperance. Uh, we have the Fool and we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Cancer, we have Aries, and we have you. Um, Sagittarius. You know what, I gotta be honest with you, I was hoping to see maybe something about love, because <laughs> okay? uh, that's why I do uh, three spreads, right, and I usually hope that one of them or both of them could be about love, but if one of them is not about love, then the other one is about love, but I gotta be honest with you, this right here is simply a repeat of the first two spreads, even though if, as um, most of you can tell, this is a different deck. Right, so this is this must be very important. This message must be very important. Um, the next good thing that will happen to you is that Ace of Pentacles. The very first card that came out is the Ace of Pentacles. In the previous, in the first spread, we also have, saw the Ace of Pentacles towards the end, right? Uh, but the, in this spread, the Ace of Pentacles is the very first card that came out. Um, the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You know, it, it's it's one of the fastest card in the deck, it's the fastest knight out of all four knights, but at the same time the knight of swords is the one that tends to get into fights, okay? I'm not saying you should be like getting into fist fights, no, but I think this is you not giving up, not losing hope, this is you uh, who is going to keep fighting, keep uh, competing, right? Somebody who is active, the person in the nine of swords in their very first card is not active, they're laying in bed, they're sitting down in bed. The person in the Knight of Swords is galloping and charging ahead. All right. Um, the uh, Chariot in the middle, qualified by Temperance. Yeah, there you go. The Chariot is a card of victory. Just like the Six of Wands in the first spread. But uh, this is a major arcana card. For some of you, you may have to go somewhere. Like, literally go somewhere. Right? With the Chariot. Because the Chariot is <laughs> also a very fast card. But in general, it is a card of major success, major victory. Right, and uh, Temperance Clarifying the Chariot is your major arcana card, but at the same time, it's a card of patience. All right, so be patient, keep doing what you're doing, keep fighting. The Fool right next to the deck uh, could be an Aries, but the Fool is a card of liberation. It's a card of, yay, I've won, I've succeeded now, I have, I have the luxury of doing what I want to do. Um, right, so the Fool is a very optimistic card, very optimistic card, very happy card even. All right, so yeah, since this is a repeat message, it must be very important to you, um, Sagittarius. But uh, that's uh, what I have for you for this reading, for this uh, time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing March.